Here's a quick video on how to cycle through your enemies. This first bug here, when he disappears on the right, he shows back up again on the left. And then the second bug here does the same thing but in the opposite direction. Disappears off the left side of the screen, shows up on the right. And then the third one bounces back and forth, changing directions each time he goes. So let's jump in and see how to make it. We'll start with a blank project in Game Lab on code.org. And the first thing to do is to pick out your three enemies. I used bugs last time. I think I'll use germs this next time. So we'll do one. Try not to think about these too much. Okay, so I've got three of them. And I'm just going to rename them germ one, germ two, and germ three. All right, now that I have my animations picked out, I'm going to come over here and under sprites, I'm just going to grab the first two, call this germ one, and I'm going to select that first germ picture and uh, draw it on the screen. Okay, kind of big, so let's go ahead and use scale to shrink it down before we draw it. All right, that's a good size. Now I'm gonna grab, actually, let me go ahead and do this two more times for germ two and germ three. And I'm just gonna take a shortcut and copy and paste these. And I'll change these animation names. And now you can kind of tell from the edges that all three of them are right on top of each other. So, I'm going to take these 200, 200, that's the X and Y position, and I'm going to change the second one. So I'll make the first germ at position 100, about right here. Leave the second one in the middle, and then take this third one and move him down to about 300. So now I can see all three of them at the same time. Next up is to make them move. To do that, we're going to need a draw loop. And we want draw sprites to be inside, and let's go ahead and grab a velocity X to make them move going to need three of those. Germ one, and I'll make them go different speeds. He'll go at seven pixels per frame. Germ two can go at ten. Germ three can go at five. Those are just random numbers. Let's see what it looks like. All right, I can tell I need a background inside the loop. And we're going. Okay, so let's take this first germ and loop him around first. We're going to say, if he gets to the right side of the screen, then move him back to the left. So we'll grab an if here. Maybe I'll connect them to the velocities like this. Okay, if germ 1's x is greater than, say, 450, because this edge is 400, then we're going to reset his x. to the left side of the screen. The left side of the screen is zero, so I'm gonna make this at negative 50 so that he doesn't jump in on us. So he's looping smoothly. Okay, I'm gonna copy that and do it for the other two really quickly here. And because they're moving at different speeds, uh, it's going to start looking more unique the further we go along. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's take germ 2 and make him move in the opposite direction, just in case you need that in your game. So the first thing we're going to do is give him a negative velocity, like that. All right, that makes him move left. Now we're going to need to tweak our if statement just a little bit. We're going to say, if germ 2's x gets less than let's say negative 50, so if he goes off this side of the screen, we want to replace him off the right side of the screen, so about 450. So now he's looping in the other direction. And then the last thing I want to do is make this blue germ 3 bounce back and forth off the screen. So uh, here's my if statement for germ 3. 
uh, inside of it, I'm just going to change its velocity to three's velocity x to negative five. Now this is going to be in direct conflict with this. Watch what happens. Well, you're not going to see it because it's not on the screen. Let's make this 400 and we'll see that he gets stuck here. See how he's getting stuck? It's because it's trying to make him go negative 5 and also trying to make him go positive 5. Uh, but we're going to fix that shortly, so no worries. Uh, actually, let's fix it now. Let's take this germ 3 velocity x and set it up here where we initialized it outside of the loop. And that should fix the problem. So now they're not in conflict because this one's only happening once and this one's happening later, so they're never happening at the same time. Okay, now I just need to bounce them off the other side, so I'm going to copy this guy and paste him again. So I've got two ifs for germ3, and on this one I need to say if germ3 is less than, his x gets to be less than, say, negative 50, then I need to set his speed back to positive. So the top one's moving right, the middle one's moving left, and now the bottom one is bouncing back and forth using these two ifs. All right.